a priest swan and his wife henna living a lonely vicarage in northern sweden anna has been suffering from nervous trouble with them lives her self sacrificing friend hadwig hadwig is a complicated character at first sight she exposes dark side she has sworn herself to the devil by carving a bloody cross onto her body hadwig is successfully performing a lot of sorceries several of them with a strong erotic meaning thus she sneak naked to the priest bed during night leaning over him she kisses his body swan is moving uneasily in his sleep but does not wake up carefully she sit astride him there is a night of lust Anna finds herself soon entangled in a net of wickedness. It is surrounding her from all sides. Still it is gliding away, always impalpable. There are cases of violent death declared natural. in spite of many question mark there is a heavy atmosphere of fright hatred and eroticism in the beautiful vicarage this is one of those swedish film that is only currently available in its native dialogue so had to rely on the bizarre visuals to try to fathom exactly what the hell is going on a woman who apparently was in some kind of institution return home with her husband to her maid the younger woman however is now practicing witchcraft she wreck all kind of strange havoc with voodoo dolls and then uses her power to seduce both the religious husband and the neurotic wife it all end as these things in avitably do in a long satanic orgy this movie is interesting mainly for the two lead actresses and the director torney wickman solveig and her son would probably be a lot more well known in swedish erotica of that era if only she had not appeared in all her english friendly film with christina lindber who made even these swedish beauties seem pretty ordinary looking by comparison anita sander on the other hand was mainly active in italian exploitation flick she appeared in the early tinto brass interracial film attraction and she played former miss in italy gloria guida's ridiculously young looking mother 
in Quella et a Malaysia, free from the erotic shadow of Christine Lindbergh and Gloria Guida, respectively. These two do manage to generate quite a bit of heat together, which might explain why they are wandering around out in the snow wearing short mini skirt in one scene. Tony Wickman is most famous for his language of love documentaries which broke a lot of barriers in their day but seem pretty quaint today. His fictional film Anita with Christina Lindbergh as a crazed nymphomaniac has gotten a legitimate English language release and quite a bit of attention recently. But his earlier study of teenage nymphomania, Eva the half virgin, has so far been neglected. As a Swedish horror film, this certainly won't make anybody forget about let the right word. But as an erotic horror film, it certainly works all right. In 1971, the legendary filmmaker Tony Wickman made Fear Has a Thousand Eyes, which is often regarded as the first Swedish erotic horror ever made. There are rumors that the movie was heavily censored, but a longer version is nowhere to be found. Here has a thousand eyes is an honest attempt to make erotic horror. Unfortunately, the overall result is bizarre and confusing. The weaker Swan and his pregnant wife Anna live in a vicarage in the country. Anna's friend Hedwig comes to visit. But Hedwig has evil plans and causes spooky happening and mystical death. These devils priestess start an orgy with Anna and Sven before the wicker edge burns down with herself inside. Swedish actress Anita Sanders work mainly in Italian cinema, where she acted for both Pasolini and Pellini. The movie's working title, Handband in My Ear, is a Shakespeare quote from Twelfth Night. It alludes to the drugs that were supposed to induce hallucination with women who were said to be witches in all times. The best Swedish horror film ever, at least in my opinion, is the cult classic Evil Ad from 1995. But there is another slightly older Swedish horror that is also a real cult film and that is Horror Has Thousand Eyes from 1970. The plot revolves around the priest Sven and his wife Anna. Anna has suffered from mental problems. So they go to a rectory in northern Sweden so that she can take a much needed break from everything and get some rest. 
in the village they run into an old acquaintance named Hardwig and at first they get along well Sven and Anna socialize with each other with Hardwig and also with other people in the village but soon strange things begin to happen including mysterious death and people seeing a strange figure sneaking around the area and this mask person seemed to be after Sven and Anna consider this to be one of the great swedish cult classic even even if the film itself is quite silly in places it still has its charm they have managed to create a rather paranoid and eerie atmosphere and the film is actually quite exciting but if you expect a film with a lot of blood and splatter you will probably be a little disappointed but if you like horror movies with supernatural and erotic element the music is good and you can't complain about the photo either as a whole the actors do a good job but there is one exception and that is hans dalgran that is not to say that this film will be bad thanks to his effort and can think of actors who are significantly worse and this is after all a cult film and when it comes to cult films you have to be a little lenient with certain thing after a much needed holiday in the canary island the young priest swan and his pregnant wife anna return home to their rectory it is not only the swedish grim spring weather that is frosty but the expecting couple begin to sleep in separate bedroom anna doesn't really feel well but is comforted by relative that these are problems that will surely disappear after the baby is born when hadwig who is anna's friend comes to visit things change a mysterious white hand begin to appear around the village a couple of mysterious death occur and hadwig begin to seduce both swan and anna however swan's sister babro senses owl in the mass and hadwig understand that babro is after her anna's nausea and increasing ill health are worrying but she cannot guess that it is hadwig who is behind it all with voodoo dolls and black magic things as collide faster and faster and hadwig finally has the married couple under her control and makes sure to isolate herself with them in the house for an orgy of love and witch like rituals purely in terms of audio it's pretty sad an occasional mono sound which is also really crunchy 
and you only miss the sound of old film projector in the background the truth is it's almost like sitting in a good old country resort cinema in the 1970 again damn nostalgia image wise it is better off the photo is inspired in several scene and the lighting especially toward the end is really beautiful to see the photo capture swedish society in the breakup from 1960s to the 1970s in a good way cloth furniture and colors feel authentic and robust since the photo is a bit angular during dialogue scene can be lenient with that sometimes it's not how it's photographed but what the image contain horror has thousand eyes is something as unusual as a swedish erotic thriller after all this genre has its main creator in countries such as italy spain and the usa in most cases however the fact that wickman has more of a pornographer than a horror creator image with clarity the film is by no means nasty but the erotic scene work all the better alternative title of the film is night has thousand eyes and it is more appropriate what was most surprised by it's probably that the delivery of the line was so stilted it sound a bit like an old person please no film in several scene first a conversation between swan and a and sister babro when it cut to a dinner scene babro says was that all the police had to say which is followed by resounding laughter then wonder what the hell they were doing in the canary island why did they get into trouble with the police did they have public love on the beach smuggle drug or murder someone question that will never get answers to then the film also contain the most politically incorrect line in 1973 swen gives in response to when he found out that hadwig was given a magic drum by a sami notes that are so frugal and have to pay for everything Sammy unite your oath and shoe the producer Inge Iverson The horror has thousand eyes is not a swedish malabimba or devil's honey Although the inspiration for the film lies in european exploitation film horror has thousand eyes is completely swedish both to the design language and to the content as an old hobby satanist rubbed hand in the opening scene but the hope it promised however the film did not live up to if the horror didn't miss up 
the new deity certainly does it was more the rule than the exception that swedish actors stripped naked during the 60s and 70s and regardless of the film's sometimes dubious content we see in this swedish famous actor such as bertil gostap ruselius and gunnarnas linguist ruselius gets away with his honor intact but not strom's death scene is among the smartest have seen at least as melodramatic as the mad arab woman in thank act hans valgren is good in the role of the kind if a little mean spirited priest swan then the fact that he resembles a young alp swanson block the impression as a priest ruled by the two female lead anita sander work mostly in italy with celebrities like puppi auti tinto brass and some obscure guy named federico pellini but was had hunted by mr i was son to come home to sweden and play in the film she looks innocent but also managed to be both natural and sensual in the many nude scenes salveg and her son as hardwig is perfect in the role of possessed and skimming witch she managed to play with little means and take the role seriously then the fact that she is well built and has a cool love appeal contribute to the film's success with its erotic undertone despite the fact that even hans while grand in seized on stripping down to just the brass in summary pia has thousand eyes was significantly better than had expected maybe it's because of the nostalgia trip got or maybe it wasn't quite as bad as ill tempered tongue made it appear of course the language is stilted and the sin that are supposed to be nasty can't even scare a 3 year old in the film's favor are the erotic element the period atmosphere and the stylish photography the film is definitely not a box office hit but how often do you have the opportunity to see a swedish study in horror romance and magic the film is definitely not a box office hit but how often do you have the opportunity to in horror romance and magic is not a swedish malabimba or devil's honey although the inspiration for the film lies in european exploitation film horror has thousand eyes is completely swedish both to the design language and to the content